Thank you very much for taking the time to sit in on this presentation. This is Systems Engineering for Sydney by Joe Casa and Marsha Weisskopf. This presentation is going to cover the current situation, a proposal for a virtual conference at the Incozi Symposium in 2001 in Sydney, the goals and constraints for this project, a plan, the work breakdown structure, the prototyping and progress that have been made so far, the plans for the future and the summer. While holding the symposium outside the country is a benefit for growing the organization internationally, it presents a risk to the domestic organization. The attendance of most domestic members at the symposium is funded by their employers and it is likely that most employers will not want to pay the added expense of overseas trips and of allowing employees to take added time away from their work. Consequently, the level of attendance of the U.S. membership is expected to drop. Attempts to provide local symposiums could alleviate the risk to the organization, but it could detract from the main event by drawing away papers and attendance. The teleconference should be a real-time event with simultaneous participation, that is, presentation and audiences in several locations around the world, Australia, United States, East and West Coast, Canada, Europe, Africa, etc. The project has several goals designed to complement each other and leverage one on the other one. The first one is to develop techniques for working in and managing virtual teams. Our project volunteers are going to be scattered over the world, both in distance and in time. The next goal is to develop the minimum requirements for knowledge transfer in a teleconference. What exactly are the requirements? How much video and how much audio are really needed, we don't know. And it's going to provide an opportunity for INCOSI to actually apply systems engineering to a practical project that could get a considerable amount of publicity. The next set of goals is to provide opportunities for projects for engineers and classroom exercises in the area of global project management, distance learning, and teleparticipation at INCOSI chapter meetings and similar events. Another goal is to demolish the myth that working with volunteers is a valid reason for not doing a good job. There are ways of working with volunteers that can motivate them and make sure that they have a good job. Yes, working with volunteers is, is a high-risk task, but we need to develop ways to minimize the risks so that we can use volunteers. And still more goals is to be documented as a case study, and it will provide a track of papers for the next four INCOSI International Symposia as to how we're doing, what's been happening and what lessons we've learned along the way. In this vein, it will provide opportunities for the INCOSI working groups to do something practical and actually apply some of the tech that they're doing. For example, the requirements group could develop the requirements. The risk management group could identify the risks and plan on ways to mitigate them. And the metrics group could identify and use appropriate metrics to measure progress and see how the risks are being minimized. So this is a way for INCOSI to actually do as they say. So chapters can share speakers. It will help to ease the load in the way the chapter program chairs search for speakers, and it will provide quality speakers irrespective of the chapter or speaker location. The goal is to increase participation in the conferences by providing an avenue for those who cannot obtain travel subsidies. So in some way, people will be able to participate locally, either at their home or at designated sites. This hasn't quite yet been decided, and it will depend on how the requirements work out. Now for the constraints. The project must cause minimum interference to the way Incosia Symposia are managed between now and the year 2001. The individual symposium organizers have got enough to do without being involved in this. It also has to cause minimal interference to attendance at the main symposium sites between now and the year 2001. Okay, the goal is to maximize attendance. And lastly, the prime directive constraint is it has to employ volunteers to perform the majority of the work. We're then going to do this using a systems engineering approach. We're going to develop an operations concept, ideas of how the final conference is going to work in Sydney in the year 2001 develop the requirements, then design it, organize it, and build it, etc. The goal is to do things in stages. So we're going to prototype and test the various requirements in chapter meetings, the symposia between now and Sydney. We're going to prototype technologies in terms of audio, one-way or two-way audio, one-way video, one-way audio, 
two-way audio, remote transparencies, streaming audio and video, different techniques in terms of the information transfer aspect. And then we also have to look at the personal network areas because there are two kinds of things that go on at conferences. One is the information transfer, like me talking to you now, and the other one is the peer-to-peer -peer networking when people get get together in the hallways and during the breaks and the meals. So how do we do that in a teleconference? The work plan is going to be developed in an iterative manner. It will be re-examined periodically, just like any other project, and updated to incorporate results of the prototyping. That means at each INCOSI symposium, we'll put together status reviews and updates and present them. We'll also publish these web page, so there will be a documented a status project, etc., so that people can follow the project from a distance. Here we have a way of using uh, groupware in a sense. So there is a lot that this project is going to provide in terms of effort and lessons learned. And the task management methodology is based on a multi contracted task management methodology that I developed in the course of my doctoral dissertation on strategic alliances of small businesses. It received an evaluation of very good by the Source Evaluation Board at Patrick Air Force Base and was considered as a strength in the evaluation of a proposal to the National Institute of Standards and Technologies Advanced Technology Program. Each task will be posted on the internet list server and web page and we'll see if volunteers will do it. If INCOSI members don't volunteer, then the search for volunteers will expand outwards to academia and further outwards. And a typical task would have the following elements shown up on the screen right now. There are several options that are available for prototyping right now. In terms of audio, the internet is available for streaming or stored messages. There are radio stations broadcasting over the internet. Streaming audio is not a problem. However, the links do tend to break down if the channel is crowded. And then there's a conventional telephone that can be used for transmitting audio, and the video can be done in a different way, such as the presentation graphics can be delivered ahead of time and real and changed in association with the audio. In terms of video, there's Mbone and there are other internet video, streaming video techniques. And then there's web-based technology where things loaded up on a web page and people participate in the conference by hooking up to the web page. All these will be investigated and reported on. The University System of Maryland has a session going on now for training web technology users. And this is to train people in the institutions to develop the web-based learning. And a lot of the techniques for web-based learning in the classroom are identical to web-based conferences. So we'll be using some of that information and applying it to the Systems Engineering to Sydney project. And at the same time, we'll be feeding back from Systems Engineering to Sydney into at least my classes that will be developed for web for running in the fall of 1998. I plan to teach software maintenance in the Graduate School of Management and Technology at University of Maryland University College using some of these techniques. There will be no classroom meetings for that course. So plans for the near future are to arrange to prototype tele-sessions at chapter meetings. This presentation is available for any chapter that wants to use it. I'd like to locate additional volunteers, including those to act as chapter contact points and to handle the hardware and software interfaces of the communication links and to identify corporate sponsors to help pay for the communication links and to update the project plan for posting on the website and for presentation at the symposia. When the lights went down, did you know who was doing the talking? And actually, the sound has been edited, but I've left in some of the mistakes and some of the gaps just to show that this kind of presentation can be put together with Microsoft PowerPoint presentation graphics and less than $100 of other software. Are there any questions from the audience? Are there any volunteers or takers on the project? Come see us.